Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me, and this is a special episode from the BespokePost.com series. Now this episode is uh, specifically because there were uh, some special sales and things like that on Bespoke Post, as well as there was a special surprise box that was available through them. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed a couple things that, uh, that we wanted to get, and hopefully we'll see this uh, black box in this recent mailing. All right, so there we go. We've got a, a pretty decent sized package here. Uh, you know, pretty pretty wide, pretty deep, pretty long, uh, everything like that. And that is, of course, to house multiple things that we have here. And uh, if you didn't happen to see it on the front here, it does say cheers to the holidays, and that does say bespoke. Uh, Let's go ahead and get this open and find out what we've got inside. All right, guys. Well, here it is. This is kind of the assortment of stuff we got. Now, uh, I did only get three different items in this one. Uh, these were ones that I saw on there, thought they were interesting, and uh, we kind of looked at it and thought, well, some of these things would, would be kind of interesting to try out or whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, first, though, we're going to go ahead with this. Now, it does say Bespoke Post on the front here. And uh, all it actually really is is just the uh, just the standard invoice here of uh, the items that we got. So you know, usually we don't get this in there because it's a predetermined box. It's not something that you specifically order piece by piece. All of the pieces in here we ordered uh, specifically to go along with this box. And then of course, as you can see, we did get the black box here. Uh, now there were two sizes of the black box uh, depending on your order size. Uh, I believe one was $50 roughly or $45 somewhere in there. The other one was like $90, maybe $100 somewhere in there. And uh, so the back black box for this one, this is a smaller order. So we went ahead and uh, had a smaller black box sent to us. Whereas if you would have gotten the larger order, it would have been probably a larger box with either more things or um, a different selection of things that were maybe uh, a little more expensive or something. And we'll go ahead with this first item here. And uh, as you can see, we did get two of them. We got two of them because of what they are. Uh, as you can see here at the top, it does say Kodiak Cakes. And then, of course, they are called Power Cakes. And uh, what they are are protein-packed uh, pancake mix. Uh, so this is not just your standard... Uh, maybe Aunt Jemima or out of your Betty Crocker book kind of kind of pancakes. These are ones that have additional protein uh, added to them so that uh, one, the protein helps you stay fuller longer, and two, uh, the protein of course is a, a little bit more healthy than eating a whole bunch of just, just carbs like that. Uh, you of course want a little more of a balanced diet uh, when it comes to things like that. So, and uh, and we'll go ahead with this uh, this next one, and this is Tippleman's uh, cocktail syrups. Now this is a barrel aged cola syrup. It sounded pretty good, and as you can see uh, a little bit here, it is kind of thick, and there is the uh, foam and everything at the top here. So it's definitely a syrup. It's not it's not like molasses. It's not quite that thick but it's definitely not thin like water or like a uh, soda that you might get straight out of a fountain or out of a can or bottle. So uh, use this, of course, sparingly, like small, uh, small amounts of it, I'm sure, will go a long way. And there is some uh, information here on the back. There is one recipe on here. It's called the Bartender's Recipe. It says Soda Shop Fizz. And it does say an ounce of the syrup, four ounces of soda water, two ounces of bourbon, which they do say that is optional. And uh, when you do this, you uh, build all of it over ice. And that is the word they use, is build. So now, uh, something else we went ahead and got, and we got this because of, well, also kind of some of the other stuff we've gotten with camping and, and uh, some other series that we have with survival uh, equipment and things like that. We've got this stormproof torch, but then it also has a bottle opener on it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now, I did go ahead and uh, fill it up while I was doing all of this and uh, just kind of put it all back together. Uh, now, of course, in the package, it was separated with the top and bottom. But uh, you do have a little uh, clasp here, uh, a carbiner, so you can, of course, hook it onto whatever, uh, your belt loop or anything else for that matter. 
Uh, you do have a silicone type rubber cover here to help keep it uh, keep the water out of it and everything like that. Uh, then you have kind of a simulated wood uh, case right here. Now on the bottom of the case right here where you can uh, see this little blade looking thing, that of course would be your bottle opener. And then you've got your lighter itself. Now of course you don't have to take the lighter out, but I do want to show you what it looks like outside of the package. It is a pretty decent size. Uh, it's bigger than a standard lighter would be. And then you also have a cover here. Uh, the cover comes up when you push the button down on it. So just hit the button there and the top comes open. And on top of that, when you do that, it'll also light it up. Now you can see the uh, flames right there. There are three flames here. There's not just one. So it does have a triangular design. You can kind of see that right there. And, uh, then on the bottom you have the fill spout or the fill opening right there for the butane. Now uh, I'm not sure how well you can really see this uh, but there is a little kind of it looks like a handle like a flip up handle for like a bucket and that's actually very much how it how it works it does flip up and here's the little piece right here. Uh, when that flips up you can take and uh, grab a hold of that and turn it either left or right, and that will adjust the flame. So if we go ahead and flame it up, we can turn it down or turn it up. So of course we've got complete control over how high the flame is. And uh, we want to keep it down just a little bit. We don't want to have it too high because, of course, with three burners, you're going to burn through your butane pretty quickly. Now for the uh, coup de gras per se, and uh, wasn't the reason that we got all this stuff, but it was a nice little incentive. We've got the black box. Now, this is called the premium black box, uh, and uh, not sure what the other black box is considered, but this is, uh, this one's considered the premium, so we'll sit here and open it up. We've got a black box premium card here, and in it, it has a uh, collection of things has a handful of things on here and what I'll do is I'll use these to kind of describe what comes out of the box it looks like uh, some basic simple men's products to to go ahead and try kind of um, seems kind of like a like it looks like it might be sort of a, a sample box almost or something like that so it looks pretty cool and one thing I will notice on here is and I'm not sure if it's in the box maybe this is just a listing of things that could be uh, but it does say something about a $10 gift card for Bespoke Post. So that would be pretty nice for uh, maybe future boxes or something like that. Maybe we can get an extra box and we can get that $10 off. That would be a, a nice little uh, bonus there. They have a, uh, a, bot or a uh, stick of antiperspirant by Dove. Uh, Dove's Men and Care uh, Elements and it is uh, minerals and sage is the uh, smell on that. So of course we know basically what this is so I'm not really going to go over this. I, I, don't, I don't see really the point in that. But let's go ahead and touch on some of these other things. Um, obviously there a lot of things are pretty straightforward. This is uh, a, obviously a pair of socks. Uh, they, 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 they feel they're very th they're fairly thin so uh, they are definitely more like a, a dress or a um, more, uh, I, I'm not sure what you want to say. I think uh, these would be more considered more of like a dress type sock or dress up type sock. Um, again, they are by etiquette and uh, you know, pretty, pretty simple. They, uh, let's see, they are considered, it's called a rugby stripe. So uh, for those of you who are into rugby, of course, I'm sure that would look fairly familiar. Obviously, we do have our $10 off card there for uh, another product or box or something off a of bespoke post. Now, this Ulio and Jack, as it says here on the card, it is uh, obviously named Drifter. That is the, the name of it. Ulio and Jack is the uh, brand for it. And as you open it up here, you can see it looks almost like it would be like a bar of soap or some type of wax uh, sort of like a candle without the wick or something like that. 
and actually what it is is a uh, solid cologne. Uh, go ahead up to this uh, and these are uh, cufflinks. They are brass cufflinks where they have a nice uh, nice simple brushed kind of look to the to them and uh, they are very similar on the front and the back. The front is just a little, little bit uh, larger diameter whereas the back would be a little easier to slide it through the uh, openings in your sleeves. Uh, now we have the uh, Craig Hill money clip and let's go ahead and get that one out and see what it looks like. And uh, this is a stealth money clip. Now there you go, pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, basically bent wire. Um, is really kind of what it is. Uh, they bend it up into a, uh, a shape there so that it comes up and across and then you can slide your uh, folded bills up in there and uh, you know just just kind of keep it all together and everything so stuff doesn't kind of fall apart and fly apart. And it does have a fairly decent opening here at the back end uh, so you can put a reasonable bit of uh, cash in there as well as I'm sure you could put uh, a handful of credit cards along with it or whatever so you could keep everything slimmed down and not have a big bulky wallet necessarily with you. We'll move on to this next one to this leather piece right here and I was thinking it was like a wallet maybe and it kind of is to an extent but what it actually they consider it to be is a leather passport holder. Uh, for those of you who have passports uh, I happen to have one myself and uh, you can go ahead and slide your passport in there it should fit just perfectly I could see definitely my passport would fit in there and then you do have these two little openings right here which are perfect size for something like a credit card or uh, or even if you wanted to put maybe folded over a little bit of cash in there or something like that but uh, you could have different cards in there and you can kind of keep this all together as one solid piece and inside maybe a jacket uh, pocket or something like that. Now this is by Kiko uh, and it does say quality you can see and it is kikoleather.com. Uh, it says that it is handcrafted and each one of them is unique and has slight variations of course in the grain color and markings and uh, you know of course those aren't imperfections it's just the fact that this is a natural product and then of course we do have the deck of cards so I think we'll go ahead and open this up and uh, see what those cards happen to look like. Alright, so here we go. We got the uh, the deck open here and uh, have the cards laid out or pulled out here. Okay, and then on the back side here you have some other information. Now these of course aren't, uh, as you can see, these are mostly words. There's looks like there's some drawings and things like that. And uh, it just so happens that on the Joker right here, it shows a little bit about, or it says a little bit about what it is. And it's called the Spy Deck. Uh, it says that it is paying homage to classic espionage through anecdotes, secret meanings, and other clandestine persuasions. It says inside you'll find information on how to cipher and decipher codes speak with more refined spy vocabulary and tactics that will help you be successful wherever your next mission takes you so uh kind of kind of a neat little uh idea there that's that's definitely different i never really would have thought of something like that though i have seen cards for uh, survival information and stuff but never something about spy stuff so I would have to say this is this is a pretty neat kit right here um, in terms of this simple black box kit. You know, like I said, it was a uh, it was a nice little add-on for uh, just for doing the purchase. Uh, and uh, of course, the purchase had to be of a certain dollar amount and everything. And uh, you know, so you could get this added on. And uh, of course, there are there were the two sizes here. Uh, now this one is considered the premium. So pretty nice stuff I uh, I think everything on here honestly I, th I don't think there's anything here that I wouldn't use uh, so pretty cool pretty nice lots of different things that uh, we've gotten with this box the few that uh, we went ahead and picked out and purchased ourselves as well as the handful of things here that we were given as uh, kind of gifts and things to uh, you know kind of pique your interest in everything so I, I would have to say this was a pretty nice setup right here.
you know, I guess that's going to do it for me today. My name is Cougar, and this was a special episode from BespokePost.com uh, and the series that we have going on here on World of Me. If you guys want to check out Bespoke Post uh, and any of these kinds of products and see what they have available, go ahead down there in the description below. There will be a link to that as well as links to our social media. Uh, don't forget to check those things out. Like us on Facebook and all the other ones we've got down there. Uh, and while you're going down there or on your way coming back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It shows us that uh, you appreciate the content and uh, would like to see more. As well, there's also going to be an icon floating around. It'll probably be right over there. And if it's not there, go down below the video. Both of those are going to be for subscribing. Uh, when you see those and you subscribe, don't forget to hit that little bell icon down below and uh, set that up so that you're notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys. Well, my name is Cougar, and I would like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.